Are we live? Are the people backs? Looks like we're streaming to YouTube and Twitch. Hello? The team is Hello? Back. The team is back again. <laughs> yeah, the team is back once again. <clears throat> Give me one second. Everyone peaced out. They're like, oh, all right, bye. That's what happens. Yeah, that's what happens. Especially people that came over from raids and stuff, but it's, you know, whatever. Hello. 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 We're back. Yay. We have people in chat. Seems like our uh, uh, router died. The router? Tricks are for kids. It was GW. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I mean, hell, we were saying we were going to paint Golden Demons. I don't know why. How did they get mad at us? <laughs> yeah, if everybody's painted a Golden Demon, I will paint a Golden Demon. I will do that. Chad has asked me for eons if I would, and I've always said no. But if everybody else here is going to do it, I won't let you do it on your own. Do it! We'll do it. I am also going to do one. I need to figure we'll out. We'll do it, chat. I want to. Tim, maybe you'll do it too? Yeah. Dude, jump in. The one thing I always say about competitions is they are great ways to get over some of your painting fears because they will put you in a mode where you have to get things done. You have to be okay handing your model over to somebody. You have to be okay waiting while it sits in a case with all the unknowns and all the question marks. Yep. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. And I think at the end of it, you know, whether win, lose, or draw, right? You can say you did. You get to have a picture of your model in the case with all the other stuff. And there's some happiness that I think comes to most people just from entering it. Getting over that hurdle is huge because you find out how non-scary it is. Who cares? At the end of it, you get your model back painless. Nobody yells at you. Nobody makes fun of you for not winning, right? It's just like, well, that wasn't so bad. And then you can focus on the things that you really need to focus on, which is your painting for the next time you do it. Another big issue with GW is nobody talks about your models. You, you're not going to get with anybody that's going to tell you why or what you could have done differently. Happens at Nova, though. So, yeah, but Capital Palette, ding, ding. Your better thing would be to enter Capital Palette. Uh, Sugar Rush, have you guys given an ETA? April 25th is our target, Sugar Rush. <clears throat> T. Schmidt went from, uh, oh, Jade went from thinking of us doing a single model to a display. Yes. I did not get my copy of Dune that I know of. Did we get another shipment? Megalodon Jaws is asking. Yeah, uh, we did. Unless, okay. So there was stuff in a Dune box, but it was the the, the other, the, the Marvel stuff. No, oh, the, Marvel the stuff. Cyberpunk was in a Cyberpunk box. Oh, we got Cyberpunk and Marvel, but no Dune. We had a Dune box that had Marvel stuff in it. Yes. I was wondering, because I remember Megalodon saying that he sent Dune stuff, and I was like, maybe he meant Cyberpunk? Spitfire, when you first started this hobby, you sent GW an email with a question about their paints, and they told me they can't help you? What? Seriously? It's crazy. Okay, I will get a Dune's <laughs> Your warehouse guy just sucks. <laughs> I had Thank it on the Megalodon, order. Don, but no pressure. You know me. We got enough boxes to last us forever. <laughs> That yeah, sucks, Spitfire. Uh -huh. They got an Atreides box, but it was full of Harkonnen. Bastards! Dang. Bastards. You're trying to match a paint with some of the texture paints, and they said they didn't know and can't help. What? That's crazy. There you go. You know, those are fears we have, is what size do you get where you can't take care of the customer in the way that you want to? So it's one of the big things we have on our hit list all the time is make sure we can always take the time to answer the way it's most beneficial. Even if it means it's a delay for you as a customer to get to the right person and get the right answer, we'll do that. So 
they're probably in the they probably have people that have a quota of how many things they have to answer if the queue's a thousand how many did you do today and yeah. if you don't do enough you get fired that sucks we're not we're not trying to be that company yeah. so no. we're trying to be helpful except for shelby don't believe that yeah i'll totally just lead unhelpful. you astray shelby just gets mad at you oh. tells you not to eat the pumpkin bread yeah oh. okay man you had, your, you had your own pumpkin bread man oh man he just doesn't get it but i didn't i had to be territorial i just didn't get any you know yeah. what you jordan got, you're not us you're us yeah you're not i guess so that us <laughs> i am not sorry <laughs> sorry not sorry <laughs> sorry not sorry she didn't even say sorry not sorry she's just like i'm not sorry <laughs> She didn't even give you the sorry part of sorry, not sorry. She wasn't even sorry that she's not sorry. She's just not sorry. See how that worked? Walking harder. Jason had his own two things, two entire loaves of pumpkin bread, and he tried to eat the pumpkin bread that was specifically for the people at the booth. Lies. And I had to save it. Lies. All lies. None of that was strictly. For I think I only had food. one chunk of the. I had like a small portion of the pumpkin bread. Who ate the rest of it then? I don't know, Jordan. But you, you had plenty of opportunities. She's using your first name. You so many I don't know, Jordan. <laughs> Jason was barely at the booth. I mean, I was at the booth for a long time. Not nearly as long as I normally am. Yeah. Like I'm usually there the whole time. And I was not that. Jason had lots of meetings and cool stuff to go do and talk about. I volunteer to move to India to work at Monument Hobbies call center. You don't have to move to India for that. Trust me. The day we have an Indian call center, Jen and I are in pine boxes. <laughs> and some evil corporation has taken over. Sorry. Not we'll, happening. We'll get you something better than pine. Come on now. Some nice mahogany. I mean... <laughs> I mean, don't waste good wood on me. <laughs> uh, that, that's not... I mean, you're going to bury it. So I don't, I don't know that I, that's what we care about. That's fair. Jen may want to have something fancy, but I'm not... I don't we can, Jen's like, we I can want stain the Jen's stuff. pink. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to be dazzled. <laughs> be awesome. Bury him in a morbid sense of humor. <laughs> that would be good. I like that. Bury him in a morbid sense of humor. Painted by Jordan. Ooh, disco ball. That's a good idea. Jen wants to be buried in disco ball Oh, casket. you think we could do like mirrored caskets? Like <laughs> ones that have lots of little disco ball mirrors in them? Reflective? Oh my God, now we're talking. <laughs> Jason's like, I'd die for that. Wait. My funeral's got to be like super fun, you know? Like I always hear the jokes about like, I want my, my body to be on a spring-loaded thing to where... At the casket Jeez. part of the funeral, you like spring up out of the casket, and then like some crazy song starts playing. <laughs> that would be my thing. <laughs> Gravity magician said, "MDF coffin." All right, I'm down. <laughs> That's really heavy, though, dude. Wow, Spitfire is very adamant about having their funeral be just a sad ordeal. I don't want to hear a single bit of laughter. Oh, wow. I require everybody to be eternally sad at my funeral. <laughs> Gosu said at Jason's funeral it's going to be an Irish wake, but everyone is drinking paint and not booze. Don't eat the paint. Yeah, he'll say it from his grave, and you know that. Yeah, he'll, he'll just pop out and say, Don't hit the bite! <laughs> My body will pop up and say, Everybody poops! <laughs> Which will scare the poop out of everybody and prove that everybody poops. <laughs> the real test to see if he's dead. <laughs> it's to eat paint at the funeral? <laughs> yeah. Is he really dead? <laughs> Stop! Checks out. He's fine. <laughs> That's my resurrection. The collective gasp of the world as they drink the paint.
Jess said, so now that you've played Warcry, are you one and done, or will you play again? What did you like, and what did you not? Oh, I will definitely play again. I, I thought the game was fun. Um, I You know what? It, it, here's a takeaway for you. I don't know that I even have a whole lot of critiques of it. I think the only thing that I would say is I would withhold, I would withhold further judgment until I get to play more, because it's it's largely based around the interaction of your army with the victory conditions which i think is great you know i said at the beginning of the stream that not having a while i can see how some armies might just be strong into lots of situations that would be the meta right but it's not like you can just spam fast models because then if the win condition is kill the other army well you're kind of screwed right you got to have some heavy hitters. You got to have some uh, fast movers, some territory grabber in that regard. So I would say yes. I will. I will play some more if I can find people to play with. It may be that the only way I can play is with Zambies at whatever rando cons we wind up at together. But that's okay too. We have so many people invested in so many games here that I don't know that getting. Although Christopher. I think was intrigued by the fact that it basically is free for him to play this game with models he already has from his AOS stuff. Yep. So the guys that are big into AOS, we might be able to con into playing with me. Rastnat said cremated and used as a texture paint. There we go. <laughs> and Gravity Magician called it Ash and Earth. I want to have my, my dust. I want to be cremated and have my dust turned into the next version of Wizard's Butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. One million dollars a bottle. <laughs> Contains real painter. <laughs> real painter. <laughs> definitely don't eat that bottle. Right. Yeah, yeah definitely don't eat please. this paint. <laughs> it should say that on the outside. Definitely don't eat this do paint. Do not eat that one. <laughs> If there's one that you really, really shouldn't eat, it's this it's one. It's this one. <laughs> <clears throat> that would have to be just like to go out with a bang. Everybody would have to know that as soon as we got found out, they're shutting us down. Yeah, you will get shut down. Uh, something about putting, uh, you know, powdered corpse. Human remains. It's powdered painter corpse. Get it right. It was clearly labeled and everybody agreed to it. Yes, they knew what they were going into. <clears throat> I don't understand. Judge. <laughs> I don't understand, Judge. This is Pat's not said I told my wife I would mix her in house paint and paint the house to see if I can get her to haunt the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Force your significant other to be a ghost. <laughs> no peaceful death for you. You will haunt this house. Apparently this dream is being weird. Keeps on... Stuttering? Yeah. Jen said the stream got a little too comfortable with its time off. <clears throat> Seems to keep needing a break. Oh. <laughs> I think it's good now, but... It could just be our internet. Gabe and Chris are keeping an eye on it. We should be fine. Thank you, Gabe and Chris, for being such. You're giving them a lot of credit. Well, I give them some credit. A lot? I don't know if I would say a lot. Jason, this workup is really interesting on the scepter. The orange that I'm doing? Yeah. I promise I'm not moving the internet cable, Ghost Hunter. I keep my feet far away from that. I don't even know if that's... I'm using a dark golden here. brown into uh, the orange oxide, into burnt orange, now into orange. Are you going to glaze over top of it with anything? Yeah, I'm going to start doing my yellows here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And maybe some reds. To make a kind of a coppery effect. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is that the end goal to to make it a, a coppery? Copper? I was thinking maybe something with some verdigris on it would be cool. So I'm going for more of a coppery than a gold. Gotcha. 
you know, I'm doing all sorts of crazy metals on him. We've got silver on the shoulder plates and such. Mm -hmm. So gold on the bangles and things like that. I, I feel like, you know, the story of these guys is that they're insane old Bretonians. And uh, so I think that, you know, the, the idea for me is that, oh, shiny baubles make them think that they're important. Mm hmm and they don't care about the fact that a, a normal person wouldn't mix all these metal types together necessarily. Polygon said, hey guys, I'm relatively new to the hobby, but I just ordered my first batch of Pro Acryl paints. They should arrive with me in the next few days. Super hyped to try them out. Awesome. awesome. Welcome to the hobby and welcome to our little family of Pro Acryl. Yes. Thank you for giving us a shot. Hope you enjoy them. You've come to the right place for finding out anything you might want to know about our paints. Mm -hmm. Once you get your hands on them or before, you can always feel free to ask questions. That's what we're here for. That and really bad jokes and stupid stories. and We do have a lot of poop jokes. Things like that. So Jason gave us one earlier. Feel free. That was not. That was a urinal story. A total urinal story. Yeah, but that then you started well saying things like pee-pee poo-poo and... I mean... You kind of got out of hand. It kind of fits, right? I don't know. <laughs> if the shoe fits. <laughs> hello Boy. bakamaru bakamaru hello um, <clears throat> jedi 6295 the model on the left is usheron usheron from what age of sigmar you said age of sigmar plus your courts there you go i know some things Captain Howdy. 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 Howdy, Captain, Captain Howdy. Howdy. How the hell are you doing, man? Howdy. <laughs> Howdy do ya. Yeah, I need to I need to go through GW's website and find a model. Catalog. Yeah. Start writing things down of models that I think are cool. Tyranids? I don't know what that means, T. Schmidt. What are Tyranids? Bugs. Oh, bugs. Big bugs. I don't know. We'll see. Sci-fi bugs that eat everything. It's got to be something that. See, I'm not. I'm not huge on sci-fi. Sci-fi is not not my home. They have a lot of really cool fantasy stuff. Yeah, so. I might lean somewhere in the Age of Sigmar area. Uh, you know, like the character that. Uh, Alex won the, the Slayer Sword with this year is very much like the Night Bells guy. He is. I loved it. He's very dark and broody. It's a, a smaller model, obviously, but... Find the category with the least amount of entries and try to win that one. That would be Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you know what? That's what a lot of the Europeans do. Uh, yeah. So they paint Lord of the Rings. No, I want to do... I was telling them this earlier, but I... I was not on the microphone so i don't think you guys could hear me but i am very interested in doing some sort of like diorama <clears throat> entry because i'm very interested in the whole resin and like actually making this scenery i just love it so i think it'd be super fun get creative with that i just have to figure out which direction i want to go in Very a little off screen. Oh, just a bit. Uh, I'm very excited to see all of your guys' pieces come together. The crew here? Yeah. I think we need to start an over under on who makes it to the finish line. That's 2024. That's the, the, the chat bet, right? Big money will be won or lost based on who you think will make it to the finish line with their golden demon entry. Will I? Probably not a good bet. Or, or probably a good bet, you mean? If you're betting against me, probably a good bet. I talk a lot of smack. I don't know that I feel very high level of confidence of me actually finishing an entry for a competition. 
We have a year. With as little as I care about competition. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be getting harassed about it a bunch. Oh, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, you still haven't finished. How's your, that piece coming, Jordan? You still haven't finished your pink model. so That's going to be his golden demon. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't know what you're talking about, Shelby. I, you, don't, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm doing? I don't know. What could you possibly be talking the about? The model on the right is the new <clears throat> texture trainer <throat> that we make here at Monument Hobbies. A series of models that are built for basically being training pieces. Think of it like your uh, your bust training wheels. They are a more of a bass relief style sculpt. You only have to paint one side, but give you a really good sampling of how to get into painting larger models and the fun that comes with just getting to express yourself artistically <laughs> and discover new ways to paint various materials and such. Dave said, uh, you could submit your war cry or this Usheron. Oh, you're saying if I, if I was going to have a hard time painting a model? Yeah. I mean, I didn't start these as being competition pieces, so that makes that a little rough. I kind of find that if I'm going to do that, I have to go into it knowing that that's yes. what the model is for. Um, I, I, I don't know that everybody's like that, but I feel like that's kind of the level of commitment I have to have from the yeah. beginning to really make it worth attempting. I could just grab a piece and be like, oh, if I ever finish this, I could enter it. But I, I, if I was going to do this, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, if uh, when you're... When you're thinking about doing something like that and you're really like you're really gonna push for for trying to do well like having the 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 investment up front on planning everything out is really important i think we have a rogue hobbies in chat a rogue hobbies what what up louise adepticon was amazing we had a blast. It was amazing. Absolute blast. Wish you could have been there. Mm -hmm. Not trying to rub it in. <laughs> kind of, sort of, maybe. <laughs> Rubbing it in. Next year, Louise. Yeah. Next year. We're all entering Golden Demons. We are. Maybe that's what we should do. We should get all of the signature artists... To go in with an entry, be the Pro Acryl team. I love it. Team Pro Acryl, and we just do a a bunch of pictures of all the entries that were done exclusively with our paints. That would be awesome. And then none of us win because GW gets wind of it. <laughs> well, that's the crazy thing, too, because uh, Alex's like, piece was painted with Pro Acryl. The Slayer Sword was 100% our paint. Yeah, that's it was awesome. amazing. She said it's fine. I've had terrible FOMO all weekend. Uh, ha, ha, ha. How you doing, girl? Good to see you. Everybody is super, super excited for your paints. Mm -hmm. The community response was tremendous. They're amazing. Lots of people talking about you showing them off on your Twitch stream. So good, good stuff. Really excited for the release. She said she's been using them to paint a very secret goblin project. Nice. I'm using a lot of them here. The uh, the uh, dark hot pink, the bright green. We're all on the uh, flesh undertones. Very good. Hello, Avian. Welcome. What up, Avian? Game Delay said you could all use a tiny amount of null oil on your models. <laughs> a tiny, a tiny bit of null oil. Yeah. <clears throat> Just one drop. Yeah. It's like, no, we use, we use your paint. Don't worry. Oh, well, you don't have to. They don't care. <laughs> it's all about the models. Yeah.
Yeah, the set sold like crazy. Yep. All, like hot all of them were gone. Yeah, we had to ship more up there. Mm. We had to drop ship sets because they all sold out Thursday. Great. And then they all sold out Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. They sent new sets up there, and then all of them sold out again. <laughs> Got to start defining the reflections at this stage when I make a jump in brightness to the yellow from the base oranges. And so one of the things is if I have this reflection on the skull here, then I'm going to have it bounce back into the blade over here. Hmm. Kind of along the middle line there. So you can kind of get the feel that that skull's reflection is over here. Right? but not all the way out to the edge because this side would be in shadow mainly. At this stage, I'm still painting very messily. It's still very much sketch focus for me. Baby J and I bought matching models. We did. That we oh, did you? What'd you buy? We bought the Lost Note <clears throat> models. The what? Lost Note. They're ones that Mateo brought. The uh, the one with the harp. Oh, a uh, Mindworks model. Mm -hmm. gotcha, 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 mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It was one of those models that we had we had floating around here. Um, because we have one that's built in the yeah. studio. Yeah, it's been. And built I was always built. like, I love this model. Where is this from? And you were like, yeah, it's mine works. And I was like, they don't have this model. Mm -hmm. And then I saw it as Mateo was pulling stuff out. And I was like, oh, yeah, I need to get one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Gabe showed it to me. And then I looked at Mateo and I was like, how many of these do you have? And he said five. And so I was like, put one aside for me. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Hello, JP Gray. Hello, hello. Yeah, Jordan and I want to have some fun with those models. That would be fun to paint on stream. Do Dueling Painters 2.0. Between you and Shelby? Du dueling, dueling them together mm -hmm. Ooh. instead of as a competition. And potentially Baby J teaching me. Yeah. That I would have fun doing. How to paint. How to paint it. Going through the cool. process of starting a model like that from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. Thinking about the process, the background, the environment. Putting together a mood board. That sort of stuff. Be very good. And then, uh, and then slowly starting to paint it. I think that would be very fun. That could be kind of neat. Yeah. Jedi 6295, the right model is one of our new texture trainers. Avian, I don't need to salt and pepper it. It's already doing it on its own, to be honest with you. I got plenty of gray in my beard right now. Louise said the bismuth yellow, bright green, and ultramarine have been massive winners. For Aren't they insane? Mm, they're cool. <clears throat> I think dark hot pink is one of the best utility colors in that set. I've been using it with flesh tones, and it is phenomenal. But there's not a bad one there. The dark turquoise is amazing. Yeah. I think the dark turquoise might be my favorite color in that set. The sleeper for me was dark hot pink, and I only say sleeper in that it's not a color I would normally migrate to. And now that I've had it in my hands for a while and been painting with it, I'm like, yep, winner. <laughs> Ghost Hunter said dark hot pink primer when? <laughs> dark hot pink primer. I am not guaranteeing that at all. <laughs> That's not a thing. 
Gosu said, I imagine that dark hot pink being the painting equivalent of hot sauce. You put it on everything to spice it up. Yeah. Yep. Because you can glaze with it over the top. You can underpaint with it to burst up the warmth of colors from underneath. It's just a great color. It may not be a color you ever see me paint with exclusively. You know, like the model may not be that color. But just like Usheron here, it'll have that color embedded in it because it's just too good not to. Uh, Jedi695 asks, what paints are you guys using? Our own. We are the manufacturers of Proacryl. And so all of the paint we use is our own paint. Manufactured right here in our facility in Arizona, where we are broadcasting from. So welcome, welcome, if you're new around here. Louis said, as planned, it's very, very good for goblin noses. I would imagine so. Good pink. Firework, thank you. Good to be back. Although Jordan and I leave in two days. Yeah, we're not <laughs> back for long. We've got to go to Anaheim for WonderCon. If you're in the Southern California area, you want to come hang out. We'll be in Anaheim for three days ish. Yep. Get there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So four days. Then we leave out uh, Monday. Gameplay said to be nice to us, they're using colors we can't buy yet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Sorry. Oh, Jedi said they're trying to decide whether to buy the 24 pack. Base set is amazing. It is a good. The base set is very, very. Great very starting good. point. Yeah, it's a good launch pad. The base set and an expansion one are a real great way to get into our colors because they give you all of the good starting best sellers, our white, all the colors that people know us for, and then a bunch of the. Uh, tints, tones, and shades, and expansion set one that you'll see us using a lot in our tutorials. The dark purples, dark blues, yellow ochres, things like that. So, <laughs> it's always a good place to start. Source said it's a great starting set to buy the rest of the sets. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's so hard, right? If you stick around the Procreal community very long, you ask the question, which should I buy? And the answer is always all of them. <laughs> I'm liking this. <gasps> Firearc said I got the base set for Christmas and I'm going to buy more at Gen Con. Awesome. Nice. We will see you there. Awkwarder said, I waffled on the Flame On set because NMM isn't my wheelhouse, but now that they're in my studio, I'm really glad I picked them up. I was going to say, they're not. Nice. Just because their NMM gold is what the focus is. You've seen us use them for everything but. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Right? Remember, colors are just colors. The fact that that's what he designed them for is meaningless in the grand scheme of things. They're just more colors to be used. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic. Yeah, I feel like I had a lot of conversations like that where people were like, oh, I don't really do NMM. I'm like, well, they are designed, like that's what Flamon wanted them to be, but you They're can just use great them for browns. a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Speaking uh, of. <laughs> right, Pale Yellow. Jedi um, Expansion 1, so all of our sets um, are not repeated colors unless you're looking at the starter set, but the base and then expansions one through four have no repeated colors. Source said I may have converted one of my very good painter friends who swears by AK third gen he was teaching me some stuff with my paints and kept saying how good they are. Mm. There you go. People yep. just use them. The paints are great. I don't know what we're doing. Phil said dibs on taking over the stream with Jabe while Jordan and Jason are gone. Phil is? He just said dibs. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. 
Ja. Yeah, I think you guys are going to get a menagerie. <laughs> You're going to get some crazy stuff. The rogues gallery of painting. <laughs> Thursday, here at Friday, Monument Monday. While Jordan and I are gone. It's true. <laughs> These knuckleheads. Whatever Jen will put up with might take place. <laughs> She doesn't even have to put up with it if she doesn't want to. She could just have me put up with it. <laughs> True. She has an easy out. Like, Shelby, <laughs> you go ahead and do it. You're producing today. <laughs> you know what? I'm not sure I'm feeling Gabe's antics today. <laughs> you do it. Understood. <laughs> Doc Siebel said, don't threaten us with a good time. Avian has a couple of questions for you, Jason. Says mm -hmm. one is the is the royal rod there gold, and then two for the NMM. Are you treating the head of the rod as a cylinder, cone, or sphere, or a combination? Okay, start start from the top on that one. Okay, is the royal rod gold? Um, I'm going for a more coppery look. So right now I'm working up through oranges and yellows with the anticipation of doing some red glazes over the top of it. And then highlighting back up off of that so that I can do some tarnish because I think it would really look good with some verdigris in it. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but, you know, as far as, like, wanting a rod to pound people with made out of copper, not the best idea, but neither is gold. And then the second question was uh, which shape you're treating the head of the scepter as. So if you're treating it as a cylinder, cone, or a sphere, or a combination of all of them. Yeah, I mean, it's a combination of all of them, right? Because it's, uh, its shape lends it to uh, spherical on the skulls. Then we have these flat planes, right? Uh, mostly cylinder-ish on the rib cage portion here. It's got a lot of unique facets to it that we got to look at. But we're going to be working on it for a minute because it's, uh, you know, we're having to uh, do more value sketching right now, and then I'll come back, do the glaze over it. I'm being kind of rough even with my bright spots where normally now would be the time where I'd start smoothing things out a lot more. I plan on glazing over the top and then coming back and doing these again. You are welcome, Avian. Source is just spreading the pro curl goodness everywhere. Another friend of his is now shelving his Vallejo Metallics and buying Pro Curl ones after. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Spreading the love. I like it. We have the best community and word of mouth. People just, once you fall in love with a thing, sharing it with your buddies is huge. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's a tool for painting. Because I've watched friends struggle for years with, oh, I just can't get this to work the way I want it to, things like that. And so any tool you can offer up that might help better their experiences is always great. Doc Siebel asks, when is that texture trainer going to be available? In the next couple of weeks, I think. Soon. Very, Very soon. soon. Making them now. Jordan <laughs> needs to finish that one for the the um, box art. We'll do the photos, and then we'll make the labels. We sold a few of them at the show in just plain white boxes, but that's not what we want to be doing. We sneaky sold them. Did anybody in chat get one? Um, uh yeah yeah i think jade bought one yeah jade i'm pretty sure awkwardish got one um i know that t schmidt got one i think big bob 
Squad. Nice. Yeah, well, quite a bit of people. Nice. Yeah, Avian got one. Yeah. Uh, Jedi, we actually make jokes about how that texture trainer looks like if Jason were in Dune. Yep. Especially the way I'm painting it. Yeah. Start to see the metal come to life now. Yeah, just had to ask for the slow fuse special. Exactly. A little, a little wink and a nudge, and I knew what you meant. I wouldn't know what you meant. What are you talking about? For the texture trainer. No, I'm saying if you'd asked me that, I'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's why I was at the register. And <laughs> Bakamaru said, Ooh, baby J, will, will you be doing salt and pepper for the beard? Um, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You could. I love how everybody either says it's me or Gandalf with a gun. <laughs> I mean, I like the Gandalf with the gun that idea. That's a good yeah. one. I feel like Salt and Pepper Beard wouldn't be out of place for this guy. I agree. Because he, he seems like a a hardened bounty hunter, you know? So he's supposed to be yeah. grizzled veteran style, yeah. right? Yeah. He's seen some things, he's lived a life. I would have to do some serious research on what salt and peppery beards look like. Both Game Delay Before and Source said Gundolf. Gundolf. <laughs> yeah, exactly, oh, right? Yes. That's exactly right. Gundolf. That's good. Uh... <laughs> Schmidt said he's also got Eric Swinson vibes. He does, kind of. Only because Eric's got, like crazy long beard now this guy is not skinny enough though because he man, eric looks, eric is skinny and very tall he kind of looks like jason momoa to me but maybe that's just because he has a beard a really long beard It is crazy how different the scepter looks now that you've added the bright spots, the highlights and stuff. Yeah. Once you start going into your brightest reflection colors, that's when it makes the jump from just a blended color to metal. But you, and, and I tell people all the time, the big key is to know when to stop. You don't stop with a very bright color and then move to a brighter color. You stop with something like warm yellow that is in itself a mid-tone value when compared to something like what I'm painting with now. In the bright pale yellow. Bright pale yellow is fast becoming my favorite highlighter. Gabe, I in fact did not know that Jason Momoa was in Dune. Because you haven't seen it. Yeah. And I probably will not. Really? Yeah. Not your cup of tea? I'm not big on sci fi, <clears throat> but I'm even less big on Timothy Chalamet, so. Oh, right. Forgot about that. I've, I've made that, that case. But yeah, I did not know that Jason Momoa was in Dune. So there you go. Again, I've got a bright reflection, so I've got to have that bright reflection peek over into this flat plane, but not as big. And then spots where it gets bright, like here on the brow, go over here and poke a little bit of color in, just a dot or two there, and then on the cheek down here. Right. So now this glow here could be the forehead, brow, and cheek of the skull reflecting in that blade. Really simple concept. Just recognizing when and where to do it is the key. Getting all the internal bits of this arm function painted up real quick. Jake English, this is uh, our new texture trainer that we are coming out with very soon.
Bakamaru said, so did I hear right that everyone is thinking Skaven for the next AOS starter set? They announced it, if I recall. Yeah, I think they said that's what it was, right? Skaven and Stormcast? Yep. Mm -hmm. As an apology, you need to drop a Timothy Chalamet Wonka figure. And never. Absolutely not. Yeah, the this texture trainer is called the Hunter, right? Yeah, Hunter. Yeah. First one's called the Warrior. This one's called the Hunter. Next one's called the Crone. I think the one after that will be the Abomination, mm -hmm. um, which I'm designing right now. And then after that will be the Machine. Um, and then the last one will be the Dead. Nice. So I'll let your imaginations go wild with what those might represent. But yeah, that's the goal. Whoa, game delay. I wouldn't go that far. Jen, Gundolf, and old Schlebby. <laughs> wow. She's taken. seen the pictures of the crone, so you just offended her greatly. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, you didn't. The hunter is <laughs> Jen is a compliment, right? <laughs> the, uh, the Gundolf one doesn't uh, uh, like go towards anybody, so that's fine. Um, I really like that though, arm. That, was that a, bronze is looking really was a good. Low blow. This? Like a smoky oil bronze feel. Yeah, it's is really it's, good. The idea was for it to be like either something. It's a little too reflective to be. Um, like it's literally rubber. oil bronze. Like if you go look at oil bronze faucets at Home Depot, yeah. you've nailed it. Yeah, you know, you got that brownish tone to it with still just another yellow yeah. metal. Or it's got a lot of like plum in it. Like if you look at the yeah, I really there. dig it. Yeah, the shadows are great. Phantasmal. <clears throat> Jordan paints good. <laughs> Source does. It's more. It's more of a Baba Yaga type thing. Yes, that was one of the the phrases that I came up with when I was telling the. Uh, I work with a character artist, so I come up with the storyboards and I draw out the first characterization of it for like shape and placement and items I want on it and things like that. I do the initial sketch and then I give it to the character artist and I throw a bunch of phrases at him. And Baba Yaga was the one I threw at her for the crone. And then my source material, and she came up with a, a fantastic rendition of exactly what I was looking for. And uh, um, and then we give it to the sculptor, and the sculptor, William Tsang, adds his own flair to it. So he loves sculpting monsters, so the crone feels like it gets all the love, um, as will the abomination, I'm sure. He's a big, he loves sculpting like Godzilla and things like that. He's done a bunch of sculpts for like big Godzilla stuff. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of really cool stuff going on with that one. The, the crone has a familiar on her shoulder that's really bitching. Mm -hmm. Um, and a skull sprouting mushrooms. Because shouldn't you all have a skull sprouting you know, mushrooms? Just the regular. Talent is like glitter. It gets on all of us when we hang out together. <laughs> if only it was more like glitter so it didn't go away in the wash. I feel like every time I hang out with somebody who tells me something I should really know, I, I go listen to something else that cleanses it out of my brain, right? <laughs> it just washes away. Source said, I have no idea where you hang out. <laughs> here. He hangs out here. Where'd you get that arm? Home Depot? <laughs> is... I just said it looked like oiled bronze. I didn't say it came from the Home Depot. Well, you said if you went to Home Camden. Depot and looked at the like handles, it would look the same. So, But I wanted a mushroom with gun. Is three fifty five. Just so you're aware. We're making progress. But I wanted a mushroom with a gun. Is he swimming in the mushroom? I didn't say that the mushrooms storage. did not have guns. I just said there are mushrooms growing out of a skull. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the like leather strap on his chest. Paint these, it. These bags. You should paint color -wise. it. Color wise. <laughs> I think something with a little olivey tone would work really well. Something with some yeah. paint. You've done that with a sleeve though, kinda. Yeah, yeah. Like his, yeah, that's his jacket's that kind of drab color. Yeah. Um, I don't know. 
See, I envisioned him when I made him as having blue jeans. So you've screwed that up because I would have done the pouches brown and the and the yeah. and the blue jeans blue jeans, but yeah, the brown pants look awesome. So I think. Oh wait a minute! I love you this, just this why did you paint over this. the handcuffs? Huh? The oh, handcuffs you did paint like over the handcuffs. Blue. Yeah, it was distracting me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was distracting me, so I painted over it. I'll paint it again. <laughs> Screw those things. I literally, it I, it's literally me. just one color I put on, like two colors I put on them. <clears throat> Make the pouches denim. <laughs> yeah, the make the belts denim. Canadian. No. I don't Canadian I, honestly, tuxedo pouches. I really don't want blue on this model. No, I don't think it. Well, I mean, you got the eyes, and that's all you need. Yeah, that's what really blows it apart because he's got the the Fremen eyes going on, which yeah. is perfect. I I wish his eyes were a little bit more visible, so he could really get a better feel for. I like it like this because we're not trying to be somebody knocking off Dune. True. That wasn't True. the point. <laughs> True. I can repaint the eyes. So that... No, no, no. I like it. I really okay. like it. The subtle nature of it is really cool. That little homage is good. Nobody's going to mistake this for a Fremen because he's definitely not. It's more right. of a, right. you know, Star Wars-y space opera bounty hunter. Who happens to be partaking of the spice homage <laughs> <laughs> from a different universe. Uh, Khaki that... desert canvas for the pouches. Yeah. I don't else? know. I really like that cool brown he's got going on right now. I mean, if you're going with the whole, you know, monochromatic feel, then... Yeah, it's you know, definitely that black brown or black pouches could be cool too. I don't know what you're doing with the gun. It's definitely so. like a very much a sandy, like yellow brown orange with like lots of purple in the shadows. Yeah. Mm. So I gotta find something that'll that'll complement nicely with that. Um, Someone said to bring you could bring the red and the cheeks down to the straps, but I don't know if you like that idea. It. The the problem is, I think it would be a really... It, it would make the center of the model pull your eyes away too much. Mm. Um, because right now, the focal point is the face and the eyes. Yeah. And if if I do anything significant with the chest and the the body here, it it distracts from where your eye automatically goes to when you when you look at the model. Because right now, you, you look at the face. Mm-hmm. And like even even this black that I did on here is a little bright, and I might bring it down a touch just so that it the face remains that like that spot that you look to first. Um, uh, a subdued gray. Yeah, I'm I'm still working on the face. The the. The, the face still needs a little bit of love. Um. <clears throat> it's like a little... It's like a helmet. Like a top to a helmet that's peeking out underneath the... It's meant to be a visor. Like a yeah. flipped up visor. Yeah. I like the little tassels on his cloak. I think those were fun. I can appreciate your love of those. <laughs> While Jordan I don't necessarily does not like stare, them. It, stare it. <laughs> that is Jordan's way of saying I do not. <laughs> I wanted it because I, I feel like it's like, like Clint Eastwood Mexican I, blanket. Coat. Yes, it's awesome. Do not like Westerns. Well, get over it. See, I am getting over it. I, I am feel painting like them. It would be so challenging, but it'd be so fun to make. The cloak looked like a Mexican blanket. Yeah, exactly, right? Be so hard, but you're hitting so on hard. all that of the things that I awful. I took because you know I mean I design all these and so they're all things that I love, and I love spaghetti westerns. Mm -hmm. So it was really supposed to be like a spaghetti western cyborgy. Do you think I was gonna go? Did you ever think I was gonna go Dune with it? Oh no, no. Yeah. Roaring Oblivion said I might buy one and paint it as alternative reality Santa. That's a That's good idea. That's so funny. Could like also that. be cool, right? Yeah. Could I'm, also I'm be into cool. that. I love it. I love when designs kind of speak to people in different ways. That really is cool. Everybody can see something a little bit different. <laughs> T. Schmidt said, I literally have a tab open looking at Mexican blankets now. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know what I could do? It's super fun. I could make this the this leather like actually like purple stained leather. No, I wouldn't. But 
or go more burgundy with it, but I gotta step in for box art. No, you've already gone like monochromatic, so I'd keep it in that field. Yeah. There's no reason for it. You'd have to have some sort of reason right now to step out into other hues. Like, is there some I'm, reason why you would have? I'm just talking about different thoughts that I have. I wasn't necessarily going to just do it, but. Yes, he was. No. Yes, he was. I don't have it on my palette. Yes, Actually, was. technically I do because the color's already on my palette, but, but no. Fateless, please do ask any questions. We love answering questions. Vexing Workshop said, I originally saw this model with saturated blues and greens leaning into the wizard vibe a bit more. That's a good idea. The wizard, texture trainer? The wizard with a gun. Yeah. Yep. That's what I love about the texture trainers is that you can see so many different things and go in so many different directions. Well, yeah, I wanted to make them generic enough, you know, because my focus point is exactly what they're for, which is materials. So on him, I was thinking denim, you know, for the pants. But color, I'm not as concerned with as necessarily the texture that I'm looking to paint on it myself. And so denim made it in there. Um, canvas or leather pouches, again. Um, you know, black composite on the gun or whatever color you get there. Um, and then some rough hewn cloth that you could go crazy with. Hi, Jen. Hi. We have a Jen and a Shannon. Oh, and a Shannon. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Jen, this morning when I got in here, Shannon accosted me. I did. <laughs> I did. It was a hug accosting. Aww. <laughs> she gave me the best welcome home. Aww. It was I mean, nice. It seems like everything's right with the world. Whenever you're away for a whole day or Jason's away, it's like something's wrong. Something's <laughs> wrong and I don't like it. That's funny. Jade, I did. I did give her a hug. <gasps> she did. Oh my gosh. And the bread was oh, amazing. Did you get bread? Oh, the, the bread that we bread had. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were the, saying she brought some home. Yeah. The but apple. Our favorite, so I think, good. was the apple. The apple right? was really good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jade, you found your, your, uh, the uh, biggest fan in <laughs> Shannon. She's not going to be shy about telling you this stuff is great. <laughs> well, thank you, Jen, for wanting us to have some. Well, Otherwise, I didn't, we I mean, know. I absolutely would have eaten both of those lips by myself, but <laughs> I would have regretted it in many ways. Right. So, in, ma in as many as ways. <laughs> Uh, I don't think her mic is muted. Maybe she it's needs to be far, closer. Yeah, oh, sorry. Away. I it feels awkward to like eat the yeah, mic. Yeah, you do. But you I have to. Yeah. That's what it has gotta, to be done. You've right? Gotta munch on it. <laughs> oh yeah, Gabe says, or turn it up, Shelby. But no, don't, because then I get too no. loud, and then it just hurts everyone's ears. <laughs> Are you using the the non metallic paints? Or the gold, Jason? Over here, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right now I'm using the, the bright pale yellow. It's so cool. Jordan, that guy looks really good. Thank you. I yeah, it he's killing it. A mm -hmm. blast painting this model up. Yes, the Fateless. We, we do have our new small paint carrying cases um, that are on our website. They were a huge hit at the show. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. Sold out of those bastards really quick. Yeah. We did. It was it, it was always like sad when people would come by the booth and they're like, Okay, I find like I I'm gonna do it. Like I'm excited, I'm gonna get a bag and we have to tell them that we're out. This is it's just heartbreaking. <laughs> Luke, they did sell out of the paint sets at Adepticon, but they'll be available on our website for everyone. End of April. Yep. 
We sold out twice, in fact. Yeah, <laughs> we did. Yeah, it's crazy. We had to ship them some reinforcements. Overnight packages. <laughs> full of paint. Chuck said, while tasty, those breads are not necessarily health food. Would avoid consuming an entire loaf, let alone two of them. <laughs> Depends what health you're going for. <laughs> yeah. Is it soul health or like right. physical health? Exactly. If my, my... soul needs some comforting, <laughs> I'm, right. I'm eating two loaves of That's the exactly homemade Exactly right. <laughs> Give you guys an idea of how messy I'm still painting. Right. For all of my, even the shoulders are very sketchy as we go through and get all of the light placed. Then we'll go back and knock all that down with uh, a glaze of some sort. <laughs> Serving <laughs> suggestions are just that. Suggestions. <laughs> You'd 100% be supporting the insulin manufacturers. <laughs> I don't think they need any more support than they already yeah. have. They think they're doing pretty well. <clears throat> yeah, they're doing just fine. <laughs> Ghost Hunter said, Jason paints messy still better than my whips. <laughs> yeah. Jason's like, well, I'm not done. I'm just sketching. And it looks incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, are you wanting to leave? Uh, I'm good for whenever you're ready to go. There's okay. no rush. So just whatever, whatever's good for you. <laughs> Okay. And Chuck said maybe instead of watching people put paint on models, I should go put some paint on models. <laughs> Bye, Chuck. Yeah, see ya. I can never not recommend that. <laughs> I know, I always come back from shows having like a renewed want to paint. Good. Yeah. Cool, you can paint on screen when they're gone <laughs> nice Perfect. there you go hired yeah mm -hmm. jen with well the done executive well, decisions what you don't know, Shelby, is that we've already made a schedule and you are on it, so. awesome <laughs> i am down <laughs> see jojo the new paints will be available end of april and the new texture trainer is uh, jason said it's probably going to be ready in about like two weeks maybe Depends, Jordan. As soon as yeah. Jordan finishes this, Gabe gets the photos done, labels made, all that. That's when it'll take. I thought they were going to be the same time. Take life. We haven't decided. It may come out. It may be that that's the timeline that it's on anyway. Yes, Phil. It. I think that will be a good way to stay motivated. However, I. I don't think. It depends. If I paint. If I finish a model and I'm like, this is just embarrassing, I don't want to enter this into any sort of competition, then I don't know. We'll see. I'm still going to paint one with the intent of entering it into Golden Demon, but we'll see. I think you should just enter it. What if I'm not proud of it, though? We'll make you proud of it. Mm, Avian, okay. it's not stealing when they're sharing all of this information willingly. Avian said, I could go on about how much better Jason is than I am, but best to steal these ideas from Baby J and Slow Fuse and slowly incorporate them into my own painting. That's kind of the point. Kind of what we're doing here. here. Yeah, it's kind of the whole point. <laughs> Give you the tools that allow you to uh, <laughs> do your thing. Feel good about it. If I, if I hide all of the things I know, then there won't be new artists who get to enjoy doing this art the same as if we just make it available. Ooh, that's a good question, Gabe. Dave wants to know if you enter something into Golden Demon, is it frowned upon to also enter it into Nova Open? Or vice versa? Technically, you... yes. It is bad? Yeah, technically, oh. yes. I see people enter the same model into multiple competitions, but you you generally, it's kind of bad etiquette. I think it's not as bad if you... Uh, Change it a little or something? Well, I mean, if you win, I would say definitely not. Well, if you win, yeah. Not enter it again. <laughs> well, in a different competition is, is, was the thing, right? Like, if you win one, don't take it and put it in a different one. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, you yeah. won once. That one needs to be retired. Yep. 
Kaz were shooting for April 25th, but that is subject to change. So we will see. So tomorrow I will uh, glaze some red over that and get us into the land of copper. You're gonna glaze. You're gonna glaze red over the gold that you just painted. Yeah. Hmm. I want it to be kind of coppery, so I can do some verdigris on it. Oh yeah. Right. Some like turquoisey jade verdigris. Oh, that's cool. So I'll glaze red transparent. Maybe, uh, maybe the new uh, orange red from Louisa set would be really good because it's a little warmer. So I might mix up some glaze wash medium with the orange red tomorrow and do that and have that glaze over it because that'll really give it a, a coppery glow. And then I'll go back over it with the same bright pale yellow that I just did to pick out those bright spots again because, of course, it'll knock all those bright spots right, down quite a bit. Right. That's why up to this point I can paint fairly messy because yeah. the glaze will pull a lot of it together and then you go in and do your final blend with that bright color and it hides a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Put some other shadow colors in based on the flesh reflecting on it, the blue of the the uh, shoulder plate. But I'm gonna have to add more color to the blue anyway. I want to get some other colors into that. So, <clears throat> oh. but I think we're done. I think we're done. Fun. It's All relaxing. Right. I always some... say that it's relaxing watching you paint. <laughs> it's like, I think we're done. Everybody's like. Oh. It helps to be in the comfy chairs. You it know. does help to me. Yeah, you're in the comfy chairs, so it makes that a lot better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, gang. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, everyone. If you joined from one of the raids or if you've just been here the whole time, we appreciate you being around. Please hit that follow button if you're new around here and have not done so already. It keeps us going. Follow all the links that you're going to see thrown up in chat there for the store uh, and for the FLGS links. Those will show you where you can buy all of our products. That's also what keeps us alive in a real sense. Um, all of your Pro Curl brushes and all the miniatures and stuff that you can handle, you find over there. Uh, and then uh, remember that we stream five days a week, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. If you don't know what that is, just Google what time it is right now in Arizona. If it says 2 p.m., you know where you're supposed to be. Show up here. We'd love to see it. And then, of course, last but not least, the Discord and uh, YouTube links that'll give you all of the content. If you've shown up late or if you want to catch some of the things we did in these streams, you can always find them on the live tab on our YouTube channel, as well as other content that we post there. And then the Discord, a wonderful community of lots of artists and Ghost Hunter. <laughs> Including those 39, 3,972 <laughs> amazing artists in the Discord and a guy who likes to use the forbidden emote. <laughs> the butt is that you so thank you so much for hanging out with us stick around we're going to find somebody to raid if you're watching us over on youtube thanks for joining us make sure you come over to twitch you can get the in involved on the raids so you can find more hobby content out throughout the evening uh, we will be back again tomorrow but then after that jordan and i leave and you'll be stuck with jen and the yep. maniacs <laughs> good luck i don't know what you're going to get on thursday and friday it's not my fault jordan and i are completely yeah. free of any guilt on this yep. But well, we hope you continue to have some fun and don't hate us when we get back. <laughs> but yeah, we are going off to WonderCon. If you're in Southern, Ari uh, Southern Arizona, if you're in Southern California and you're going to be around and going to WonderCon in Anaheim, we'd love to see you there. We're running the paint and take and the night classes. You can come get taught how to paint miniatures by Baby J. Whoa. Whoa. From 7 to midnight. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. So uh, Baby J may be coming to work late on uh, on uh, Saturday and Sunday. But I will be there at the paint and take from whatever the hell time we had to wake up in the morning. Is it 10 to 6? I think it's 10 to 6 or 9 to 6. It's a lot. I'll be painting at the uh, paint and take area and talking to all of the people that come through and paint money for miniatures. So we'd love to see you there if you're going to be around in Southern California. Uh, if not, we'll be back tomorrow and then back next week. So thanks so much for hanging out. Catch the raid, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Bye.